What is good, YouTube gang? As you can tell from the title, today we are doing a Q&A for trucking, my life. Anything y'all wanted to ask, I asked on Instagram. If you wasn't tapped in, I'm sorry. Go ahead and drop some questions down below, and maybe we can do a part two if there's enough. How about that? So, what's good, guys? I need y'all to like, share, sub. I need all that stuff. Y'all know we aiming for 5,000 subs by the end of February, man, and it's coming by quick. I think I think we're doing good. I don't know where we at now, but you know I always put it right up, right up there. So we're gonna see where we at around that time. And yeah, man, I say we just get into it, bro, because this is gonna be a simple Q and A. So many questions. I'm gonna put the question right here, and I'm gonna put the person that asked it. So if you ever have some, you know what I'm saying. Again, it's on Instagram. So if you ever wanna ask them, you can go to their Instagram. Maybe ask them why did you, you know what I'm saying. I have a better answer for you than what I said. Cause you know, I'm not always right. I just get based on my opinion. So let's get into this video real quick, man. This question I received was from my boy Peyton. He's actually a good uh, good guy. He always tap into my content, ask a lot of questions. Pre appreciate you, Peyton, for real. First question he asked, does Prom Tanker do, let me put this in my lap so I can be facing down. Does Prom Tanker do West Coast or what states do they do? So from what I learned, you guys, I'm on the edible side, the inedible side. They do all over for real. Edible side basically do mid east to all eastern states. Like uh, probably I go as far as Nebraska and down. I don't go west coast, and that's gonna be different for me because you know guys are coming from Reefer, and we did all 48. So next question we got today is, uh, what do you spend the most money on while traveling? Uh, they saying gas. Uh, this you see it right here. It say food, gas, etc. If I'm being honest, I'm spending all my money on fuel. That's where most, cause that's profitable. So I'm gonna minus fuel out of this one. Uh, I do spend a lot of money on fuel, food, y'all. Food is definitely probably the one for me. Not gonna lie. So it's definitely food. So uh, what are some of the necessities that you need for a truck? So. Yeah, example, first aid kit. Yeah, you need a first aid kit and you need clothes. You need the correct clothes. Y'all see, I'm wearing a, a bib right now. That's how cold it is outside. I think it's like below 15 right now. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't play about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure I'm in good good conditions to, for the weather. For the summer too, same thing. So also some other things. I have a lot of things right here. You know, you want, you know, you want your own plates, you want your own forks, you want your own spoons. I can go on and on. You want multiple chargers because you never know when you're charging. You need chargers, you know what I'm saying? You want a couple bags just in case you decide to get out of the truck for a couple days. You never know. You need... It's a lot of things I can go on and on about, man. I can't just really sit here and think of you want hats, you want... You know what I'm saying? I can go on and on, but those are some of the important things you want. You want your own food as well. You want a microwave. You want an air fryer. You know, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and go to the next question. How many hours on the average do you spend driving trucks? Guys, this 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 question, I really can't give a specific answer. So what you wanna do is think of every day is not gonna be the same. Some days, I don't really know an average of my driving, bro. Some days I'm driving a full clock, some days I'm not. So I don't really have an answer for that one, I'm not gonna lie. What do you date? Would you date somebody younger or older than you? I would date anybody younger or older than me. It really don't matter, bro. As long as I can get to know you and you don't change my life, you don't change the happiness that's in my life and bringing in negativity, we can work out. Uh, I would suggest I won't go lower than uh, 21. 21, I'm 25 and 22 and 21 is really or still a risk for me. So I try to keep it around my age. I've never dated nobody around the 30 or like five plus years older than me, but uh, I tried it, but I never it never worked out. But some good companies starting off, uh, some starting some starting out companies to drive for. Uh, I'm the type to be like, I only can tell you one good company, and that's the company I'm with. And that's Prime Inc. That's the only company I know I've experienced with. So I really can't answer that, bro. But a company is gonna be best as you know what I'm saying. You. You make that company, you make it good for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So like, a lot of people don't have good experience with prom. I've had nothing but good experience at prom. So it's what you make it. That's how I look at that. But you know, there's plenty of other companies that people success got success at, like Swift, Knight, Snyder, 
it's plenty of other ones, bro. It's really what you make in, what you do your research in, and what you decide to go with, and what's best for you. How many off days do you have a have uh, in a month with prom? So I'm a lease driver, y'all. I can go home every weekend if I wanted to. It's not that's not profitable, but you can. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I try to stay out months at a time, two to three, max four. You know what I'm saying? Then I might go on vacation, but. It's really up to you. A company driver side, I think you get seven days. Every seven days you out, you get a day, you know, for vacation. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Do you pray when you wake up before you hit the road? I pray for you. I appreciate that you pray for me. Yes. Honestly, if I'm getting into D, I'm not the best prayer. That's why I got this Hey God book. Uh, it has so many uh, different type of prayers that you didn't know you might need. So... You know what I'm saying? This is a good book if you're not a good prayer. Like, I'm not, I'll self pray like in my head. But if I need a, like, you know, I want to be loud about it, I'll look in here, search for the prayer that I'm looking for, like uh, a prayer before you go to work. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a nice, a nice prayer for you. You say it out loud, and you, you know what I'm saying? You thank God. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's big. You can find this in Amazon store. Just search. Uh, Solomon Jordan, hey guy, he has like two or three of them, if I'm being honest. What is your ideal vision? What is your ideal vision of, what is your ideal vision of you, of the dream life? I don't know why I struggle to read that, but a dream life is just, you know, doing the stuff that you want to do. That's all it can be like, put you, you know what I'm saying? Put your, put what you want to do first. That's, that's. That's the dream life because you're doing what you want to do. You're not doing what other people want to do. You're not doing what you see other people doing. Do what you want to do. That's going to be your dream life. If you could give any advice to yourself five years ago, what would it be? Slow down. Take your time. Uh, don't spend money that don't need to be spent. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's big for me. Slow down. Take your time. Everything is going to happen in your own way. Just slow down. Five years ago, I would give myself that advice. Slow down. How fast do you run your truck since our trucks are governor here at Prime? If I was team, I was team driving the last two years, we ran 65 and we still was the top best in the fuel economy. Like in our fleet, we were still good at fuel. And I'm probably still gonna run 65 when I get into this next truck solo. <laughs> How long do you see yourself being on the road for? I know I'm definitely gonna be on the road for the next two years. Excuse me, next two years, but uh, I don't really have a clear answer for that. I don't know however long I enjoy it, because I enjoy it, so. What motivates you to keep going in life? What motivates me to keep going in life is knowing I'm not where I wanna be yet. Not knowing, knowing I'm not, at the spot I want to be at. That's that's big to me. Like that's what motivates me big. And getting up in the morning to have that hustle and that grind energizes me. Like it's like, okay, bro, this is what you want. You want to be there. You want to be there. Get up. Get to it. Making this video. Get up. Get to it. So yeah. What software do you use on your MacBook to edit your content? Uh, thank you. Looking great, man. Appreciate you, man. Uh, you yourself, man. Keep going. You're doing great. I use CapCut, that's all I use. On my MacBook, you can download it, CapCut. It's a good soft editing software until I wanna level up and try something else. CapCut will always use for my phone and my MacBook. Would you ever do a meet and greet? I feel like I'm not big enough to do a meet and greet, so I'm not, you know what I'm saying? That's not something I'm interested in. Most people see me at truck stops anyway. If you see me out and I'm not no celebrity, I'm just another human being, y'all. Y'all can walk up to me, we can have a normal conversation about anything. Which one better in your opinion, solo or partner driving? Uh, team driving was amazing, bro. My bro Dex, we I couldn't do that with nobody else, bro. It was an amazing experiment, and that's really, you know what I'm saying? It's really by choice. If you can deal with people, if you can't deal with people, I wouldn't do it. But if you can, you know what I'm saying? Find somebody that you think can stick out. Make sure I have the same, the same mindset too. So that's big. So. I really ain't have a good experience, like long six months to a year solo driving. So maybe I can give it a review on that later about two years of team driving versus two years of solo driver. Are you leasing or company driver? I'm a lease operator, you guys. Lease operator, full blown lease operator. 
you could have anything different in your trucking career, if you could have done anything different in your trucking career, what would it be? Probably uh, modeling, if I'm being honest. I get told that I should model. So modeling probably would be the next big thing if I, if I knew how to get into that all the way. And not saying I might not get into it. That's something I could get into. But as of right now, content creation and truck driving is my main focus, and I enjoy doing it. So modeling probably would be. Would your would you team drive again? Uh, probably, I probably would end up training in the future, y'all. So I'm not gonna say I wouldn't. So I'm up for it. Yeah, I don't know if it would be with a significant other or would it be with another homie, but it's that's it's just rare, especially right now. Super rare. Do you get paid per load or distance? I get paid per load. How's the road life? I'm trying to be a truck driver. Uh, the road life is different, is, is what you make it. The road life is just what you make it, you know what I'm saying? And if you wanna be a truck driver over the road, do it, try it. You can easily go back, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's jobs everywhere with a CDL, besides like Florida. <laughs> Which one better, Semper Mauer or Lowe's? Um, that's a personal perspective, man. Like, uh, I haven't got paid Semper Mauer, so I really can't answer that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, y'all, I'll put their usernames here. If you can go answer that, hit them up on Instagram and be like, you asked for I came a question. You know what I'm saying? How long are you planning on trucking? Uh, however long, you know what I'm saying, I'm able to, bro. Like, I, if I'm 65 and still driving trucks, forget it. I'm 65 driving trucks. I don't know, bro. I try not to think so long term. I believe you made the right decision to become a truck driver. Would you change anything else? No, I wouldn't change anything else because God got me here and it's the reason I'm here because look what I'm doing. I'm inspiring people, I'm motivating people uh, to do something, you know, besides something like, you know what I'm saying, illegal. So nothing I would change. And yes, I feel like I made the right decision because what I was working previously was not making nothing. You know what I'm saying? Even though I was a good worker there, I got promoted, but it still wasn't enough. And I move forward. That's just what moving forward is. How much did you pull in when you first started driving as a rookie versus how much now? I still made the same around each year I drove, bro. It's really nothing different. It's just about how hard you run. If you're running, like I said, you'll see or you'll see a difference. Like this year, I'm trying to see a difference. So I will be running very hard this year for sure. What's five goals for next year? Next year, I'm guessing you're talking about this year because I am. Yeah, yeah, okay. This goals for next year is to be consistent. Uh, be, let me restart. Let me think. Make more money. Invest. Invest into something. I have to invest into something. If it's, even if it's in myself, that can be a part of being a consistent. Invest. Uh, cook more. I want to cook more. I need to. Uh, I need to cook more. You know what I'm saying? And. Five would be don't get distracted. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get distracted. That's five goals. They kind of tiny goals, but those those five decent goals that that I have on my mind, like I need to lock in on. As being a truck driver. What made you get into trucking? If I'm being honest, it was my ex, uh, my ex parents. They had a trucking company and they were like flourishing in it. And her dad was like my mentor. And he told me her and her mom, they, you know what I'm saying? They helped me get into trucking. They told me this is what you need to do. This is, you know what I'm saying? You can go to school for it. Just get your permit, stuff like that. Being a truck driver really profitable. It's profitable for you. It depends. Everybody's circumstance is different. So for me, it is profitable. Tips on social media, bro. Be consistent. Post, bro. Uh, be different. Try to be different. Social media, you know what I'm saying, is a, is a very difficult it's difficult to get into. It's difficult. It's hard to come into when you don't know what you're doing. So definitely just try to be different and be consistent. Keep posting. Record everything. You never know what you might need. And that might be the thing that might go up. You know what I'm saying? And once you go up on that one video, post the next day because your page will be spiraling around the globe bro with people eyes because it's gonna keep this viral video how 
long you been driving trucks and would you ever drive buses? I think I wouldn't drive a bus unless I'm probably in my senior years. I don't even have my passenger, my passenger endorsement, so I don't know, but I've been driving trucks for three years in June. Got two questions right here from the same person. Is negotiating loads easy with prom? And what did you take for you to be comfortable going down the mountain? What did it take for you to be comfortable going down the mountain? They scared me. Uh, first question, negotiating loads easy with prom. Uh, you're not really negotiating. You're just declining and accepting. Most of the time, your dispatcher is going to bless you with the best load possible, no matter. It's just the best scenario for you. I mean, it could be wrong, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's weekend dispatchers that can overlook it. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, from my experience with my old dispatcher, because I have a new dispatcher now, because I switched divisions, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't really negotiate. What did it take for you to be comfortable going down the mountains? Uh, I was so scared at first, man. My trainer, he made me go down the mountains and uh, I forgot what it's, it's going into Sacramento, Donner, I think, Donner Mountains. And those are like 40, 40 miles long, uh, steep, 6% steep grade down, 4%, I think, I don't know, but that's a long mountain heavy and you're constantly going down, so 40 miles. So uh, once I did that, I just learned that's the truck is amazing. The truck does all the work for you. Just learn how to use it. So there's nothing really to be scared about. Most I still get nervous sometimes going down mountains when it's snow and ice. But at that point, I probably would be pulled over. I wouldn't even be going down that mountain. But yeah, man, don't let it scare you. Just learn how to use that truck. And if you're uncomfortable, pull over. How was the process trying to get into prime to do at least to own and what would you recommend uh, if that's what you want to do bro the process is not you know what i'm saying it's like if you coming in from like with experience already i think it's like you take a few classes and you pick a truck that's all it is bro how was the lease uh, over there prom i have no problem with the lease to so my ears and experience they are about the same you know what i'm saying you just learn the business aspect of it did it cost anything out of pocket first week to start uh, starting up with a success lease, uh, nah, everything is just on point. They give you your first pay, your first truck payment week off, and they have it deferred for like twenty five dollars, twenty five dollars a week. So that's actually good, and you just pay that on the back end. How do you record your videos? I use my phone, or I use these right here, bro. These, this is a regular GoPro nine. I use mostly for like head mounts. And this is an Insta360, y'all. This is an Insta360 X3. I recommend getting this. This is a fun camera. It records 3D motion, or you can record straight. And it records everything in one direction, even if you spin this around and flip it in the air. But mine is pretty cracked. I got to get a new one. I plan on getting a new one. This is a good one. You can also use this for a head mount. If you want to not get this one and get this one, you can do that. And the app is easy to work on the Insta360. So this is a, these are the cameras I use, and I use my phone. I have an iPhone 14. I actually plan on getting another one and having that one just be my camera phone for like situations like this, so I can't have my phone. You, does you traveling a lot affect your dating life? Uh, traveling a lot does not affect my dating life. Um, it's not, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It uh. It doesn't really affect anything, you know what I'm saying? I make time for who I want to make time for, and that's just the honest truth. Since you spend a lot of time on the road, how do you do with long distance relationships? Long distance relationships are not bad as long as the communication is there. Most of the time, you guys will be on the phone. From my experience, you know what I'm saying? I have been, you know, dating or whatnot, but it's not bad as long as you make time for that person and be communicating and just know how to communicate. It's not hard. Make time. I make time for the right per people, but my time is serious and. I take it very, very serious. Prom does do, uh, does, I mean, prom does, last time I heard from my experience and what I've been hearing, they do a P test. No hair follicle. What's one thing you will warn others about yourself? Um, that you're not a priority, you're not gonna be a priority that quick in my life. So don't expect, don't expect, you know what I'm saying? You have to show me that you, you belong in my life. That's big on me. Like, that's what I'm warming myself. So don't think, like, you are a priority. Like, my priority is to be successful in life. And as of right now, as a human, you won't be that priority until you show me. So don't come in thinking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
What inspires you, especially those moments when you're feeling down? I feel down a lot, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Uh, feeling down. Uh, these are a lot of questions, guys. <laughs> I just think about all the good moments. How grateful I am. You know what I'm saying? To be in the position I am. So that, that's what inspires me the most. You know what I'm saying? Inspires me to want to be great. The people I inspire myself. You know what I'm saying? People that do compliment me. You know what I'm saying? My niece and my nephew. I love them both. Like, I, they inspire me. I want to show them that, you know what I'm saying? I can create a nice life. I, that, that, that's what inspires me, man. It's weird, but it do. You know what I'm saying? So, what keeps you motivated in your career? Any other career options? What's on your playlist? I didn't know if you was talking about music or not. But I don't think you was. I think you were just saying, like, what's your, you know what I'm saying, what's some other things you're thinking about? I don't know. So we're going to think of it like that. What keeps you motivated in your career? What keeps you motivated in my career is that I just, I love it. I love the fact that I inspire people to do what I do. I get, wake up and I don't feel, I don't feel like, dang, I got to drive. Like, I used to feel like that at my last job, like, Hey, I gotta get up and go work in this freezer. You know what I'm saying? I don't think about that. I get up and be ready to drive unless I'm just dead be tired. But of course, you who wants to drive dead be tired. I don't think about vacations. I don't think about having the weekend. I don't think about not having all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what keeps me motivated. Like, I don't know what was doing that, but it helped me. What's the requirements on Lisa the Prom? I think you gotta have a lot of experience driving already, or you have to went through their school. Those are the requirements. That's literally it. You can go lease our company. How long did it take you to get to CDL? What's the hardest part about being on the road? The hardest part about being on the road is you do miss, you're going to miss moments. But it's, you know what I'm saying? That's a part of the sacrifice. The next thing would be how long did it take you to get to CDL? It took me like a month. I mean, no, two or three weeks. I passed and then I was on to TNT train. How many I got? Y'all, let's be for real. Why would I tell y'all, first of all? Second, I don't I don't use that terminology anyway. I just, I date and if we don't work out and you're not the vibe, I move on. I don't try nothing. I'm too old to teach anybody how to be somebody I want in my life. You know what I'm saying? If I have a girl, would I take my girl along? Of course I would. Come on. Come with me, baby. I've done it before. Somebody's been with me before, yes. And that was fun. I would definitely do it again. I recommend it. 10 out of 10. You will get annoying. You will get annoying. As long as she can take showers at a truck stop, everything's going to be fine. And if she can cook me a little breakfast while I'm driving, that'd be perfect, too. I got to use the restroom. BRV. Bathroom break was needed. Anyways, back to the video, man. All right, man, next question is any advice? I'm about to graduate and looking forward to getting my CDL. All right, damn, bro. What, what advice should I give you, bro? You doing the good, you already doing the right thing. You, you looking forward to getting your CDL. That's the best advice I can tell you, especially if you're not into nothing, you know what I'm saying, serious right now. So you're doing good, bro, don't, you know what I'm saying? The most advice I can give you is keep going. What was your biggest lesson in 2023 and how will you use it in 2024? Biggest lesson, if I'm being bluntly honest, was family, bro. Like, I was helping too many people out. This year, I'm not doing that. Family, friends, I'm not doing that. And I'm saying that in the nicest way because they holding me back in the nicest way. So, that's my biggest, that's the biggest lesson. And this year, they not getting none of that. That's why this year will be my biggest year. Are you ready for this new journey of solo driving and tanking the prison? You be tapped in. I like that. Yes, I'm excited. So much stuff to learn, y'all. I just had to buy so much stuff, like recommended tools and stuff. Uh, I'm excited, man. Excited for this new journey. I can't wait to document it for you guys. Do you have enough family time, friends, dating? Like I said earlier, you know, I make time for who I make for. So it's really my choice. If I want to go home for two weeks, I can go home for two weeks and spend it with friends. But for me, every time I'm somewhere long, I'd be like, dang, I could be making money right now. That's just me, though. What's your favorite food on the road? 
I love a good nacho. I love some good nachos. I really do. But what I eat all the time is Chipotle. Ouch. <laughs> Chipotle. So Chipotle is probably the answer. What better you, me or you, Tez? Tez, be fucking for real, bro. I'm the safer driver. I drive only 65. You go 89. So, it's definitely me, gang. I'm sorry to tell you, Tez. What made you switch to Rick from Tanker? I just wanted something different, bro. My bro Mel. Shout out to my bro Mel. I just wanted something different, bro. And, I mean, you kind of knew this. You just supported my questions, and I appreciate you. But, yeah. I just wanted something different, gang. Like, it wasn't even that deep. Uh, just something different. And, you know, I wanted to haul fuel in the future. So, that's more so the reason if I do haul fuel in the future. What's one major thing you would like to accomplish this year? I would love to hit 50,000 subs this year. <laughs> hey, 50,000, y'all. And I think it's possible if I put my mind to it. What's your favorite thing when doing when you're not doing trucking? Shout out to my bro Marcus. Uh, Marcus, probably bro. Hanging out with friends, bro. Getting a couple drinks. That's probably what it is. If not, I want to be out. What I do want to do this year is be out the country more. So I want that to be my favorite thing is traveling out the country for sure. And y'all, I didn't think that was gonna go by that quick, <laughs> but. That is it, y'all. That's the most. I was 57 questions, y'all. I think, I think I skipped over a few because I answered it. So definitely more than 50. I didn't skip more than three or four questions. I uh, appreciate you guys for tapping in, man. This was just a quick Q and A video for you guys, and I'm excited to do a part two later on, especially with uh, this new division coming in, man. I appreciate you guys, man. And I'll catch you guys on the next vlog that should be dropping in within the next couple of days if you watch this video. But hey, man, make sure you sub it. Make sure you like it. Make sure you comment. And i catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you share this to another truck driver. Appreciate you guys. And i catch you guys on the next video.